All right guys, today I'm gonna to do a quick update on the pond. I took the fish out probably, I don't know, maybe two, three weeks ago when they had fin and tail rot to treat them in the tank. There's been a couple of frogs that were in here that I had to get rid of. Actually real frogs, water frogs, I got them out. The water looks crystal clear. I don't know if you guys could see that. Look at the deeper part. You see like right to the bottom. It's been cold at night. It's been in the mid 40s, maybe well, just under 50 degrees, but it's getting colder. Right now it's probably like 64, it's cold. So I'll be closing this down for the year. Worst time of the year. Can't wait till next spring. You see how clear it is? Man. I don't know if you guys can see how clear it is. It's clear. I don't see anything swimming or anything in here, so they didn't have any babies. Yeah, gotta take it down. You can see all the flowers. Everything's dead. There's a couple there. Those are still there. But they won't be long, they'll be gone. Everything's done this year. Eh, it's the worst time of the year. My grass took a beating this year. You can see over there, there's some bare spots over here too. Had to patch that with some new seed. Took a beating too, I don't know why. I think the webworms got it. I didn't actually, actually, I didn't bother with it this year, so that's probably why I was concentrating on my front lawn that I reseeded last year. That looks much better. But let me just take you guys over here. I'll be closing this thing down soon. Let me just take a look in this waterfalls. Take these rocks off. Let's see what it looks like inside. My fake plastic rock I used to cover it. <laughs> Yeah, it's flowing good. There's some algae in there. I don't know if you can see it on the bottom, not much. The filter pad, I'm amazed. I didn't clean it all year. It's not even plugged. And it's that clear. And you'd be surprised I used to run this big filter. Let me show you guys. Oh, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> It's broke off here, I never repaired it. I used to use this, I had a 3,000 gallon an hour pump. The falls was much stronger. I could put it back on, I just gotta get a new plastic piece. I still have the pump in there. But to be honest with you, I've been using it with just, I think it's 650 gallons an hour running up through the rock. You can see that green hose, it comes out here. That's slow. It goes through this filter pad and it looks crystal clear. I do have the skimmer on there. I think that's another 600 plus gallon an hour too. And the funniest thing, that skimmer catches everything when it falls in the water so it really don't get that bad. The bottom of the uh, pond you can see I don't know what it is. It's algae. You can see it piled up by the uh, plants there. It piles up, but if you go in there with your hand, you can move it around. It's like dust all over the place. I usually vacuum it out and then just fill a little water in there, but to be honest with you, you don't even have to do that. It'll be like this. It'll die over the winter and be clean again and do this again every year. So. I guess the algae is actually clean in the water is what I'm trying to say, so I leave it. A lot of people go nuts trying to get rid of the algae. They're like, it's that way in the wild for a reason. No one vacuums it or cleans it up. There's no filters. It does it all by itself because it's left alone. The algae takes care of it all. And also, if you move any of these rocks right now, you probably don't see anything. But if I take like a rock from the side and lift it up, there's a lot of snails in here, so they're cleaning it up too. 
everyone tries to get rid of all that stuff. Let me see if I can get this rock back on here. I see. There we go. A lot of people try to get rid of all the stuff. I try to leave it as natural as possible. It uh, it takes care of itself. They put like, I don't put a lot of goldfish. Maybe three, maybe five of them at the most. And I know the gallons an hour of the pumps isn't that much for the size of the pond. It's probably about, we'll say 1,200 an hour, and the pond's about a 1,000 gallons. So it does it like a month in every hour, and it stays this clean. So you really don't, uh, uh frogs in here again. I just stepped on a rock and seen them jump in. Oh well, I ain't gonna be getting him anytime soon. He's in that algae, you'll never find them. It's one of them little green ones that look green and gold, a real frog. I don't know where they're coming from. There's no water around here except for this, so who knows. And the problem I've been having in the uh, late uh, spring was with toads, they're totally different. These things swim, it's like they jump in and they look like a fish, they're so fast, they're gone, you can't even see them. But I'll leave it, unless I see them on, like the other day on the land, like bask in there and I got them out. But you ain't getting them like this. Lily pads are still going good, but not for long. But I just wanted to update you guys. You know, I found it interesting that it's so clear, but it's funny because it got, the cold front came in, it looks like it cleared up even more. I remember when I was digging this thing out, you see right there in the water that, uh, I got two bricks with the, uh, I guess it's like a slate, the fish could go under and hide. Right there was this rock. It's hard to tell the size of it. Let me go around it so you can see it. When I was digging this out was when I was at my peak for like uh, bodybuilding. I was like a power lifter. I could squat a thousand pounds, deadlift 600 pounds, and forget it, I was strong. This rock I estimated was probably about five or 600 pounds. You couldn't budge it. It was way down in the bottom in the deep part and I had to get a pop, like a couple pipes and roll it and then roll it up over the edge. It took me probably two or three hours to get it here. And then I continued working on the pond and I got done. I said, this is where it's gonna stay. I ain't moving it and it looks good there. But I just wanted to tell a story behind that. That thing's huge. And if you guys remember, I did the fertilizer on the left. Let me get back further. Two different fertilizers. One on the left was the uh, organic and on the right was the non-organic. I'd say it almost looks about the same because if you look at the bare spots, and I think that's from them webworms, they eat the roots. You see there's a little bit here and some down here and it's strange because down here is where the water would be because my property's like on a hill and this would be more wet and it's bare there. Over here it's got a bare spot. And all down here up against my neighbor is probably 10 feet down. We have one of them walls here. So all the water in my property you would think would be coming down the hill here and that's where there's bare spots so i don't know it could have been fungus i really wasn't paying attention but i think it was those sod webworms because every time i cut the grass you would see them fly out a lot of them let me just show you this angle you can see we go low it's hard to see the angle but it's probably i would say five or six feet higher to land on the uh, far side of the property where i'm standing it's six foot lower and it should be wetter down here but who knows oh well i'm at it my sister gave me in the beginning of the spring 
a raspberry bush. I didn't know they grew on bushes. They're like sticker bushes. Well, you can see there's some more uh, raspberries on it still. I'd eat one, but I don't trust it. I want to wash it first. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what kind of weeds are behind that fence over there, but there's a lot of them. They grow like white flowers on them. They look nice. They're just starting to die now. But this is the update. I want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll make <clears throat> one more. Ooh, wait. I'll make one more update when I cover the pond. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Maybe in like two or three weeks. Who knows? I could do it now, but I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see if I'll make another video of it. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'm out.